What's your opinion on Samworth, the prison guard? Hold your Danny and I regard and not and not for his own benefit like the rest of the podcast. Keep fighting the good fight. Well, Paul Riley boy, family can be difficult. Hands are powerful. I spent a few I spent a I was on remand in Strangeways when Samworth came in from being a prison officer at Forest Bank. I believe he'd left the private sector and joined the public sector and was working in straight ways. And he was decent. A Yorkshire man, big, like the bevy. One of the boys, basically, but in a uniform. If, you understand. if you've been to jail, you've got screws that are complete army you know, militants. Then you've got your ex-police officers. And then you've got your normal working men. He was military, I think, somewhere. But then you've got your all you've got your normal working men. And they're just like just like your dad or your your mate's dad or that fella you speak to in the bub of a Friday or that kid in the Betty yeah. That's what they're like. So there's some that you can relate to and some that you just won't. And somewhere with one of them where you could have a little word with him. You know, understanding that he weren't there to trip you up. So, I remember him, and it's the fact you can ask him, he he was telling me he was writing a book. And would he mention me? And I said, yeah, blah, blah. And that's why he mentioned me. What, what What's happened between him and Danny? I'm not privy to. I don't really know. Obviously, there were many screws in strange ways that didn't have an interaction with Danny because they all took shifts in the segregation unit at times and Danny was, you know, he was locked off in the segregation unit for the majority of his prison. So a lot of screws, just like Samworth, would have had interactions in the same manner that Samworth did, you know, restraining them bullying him, pissing on him. Now, obviously, when I was getting trolled, when I was getting victimised and cancelled by the Irish through the way of One-Eyed Marvin and the Glasgow, the Glasgow celebrity podcaster, when I was all right with... When I was all right, before I got on to... Before I got on to the Glasgow celebrity, he was putting all things in place for content for him. And that interview where you see the Glasgow celebrity and Samworth and the One-Eyed Monster doing a doing a Christmas um, interview, that was meant to be me and Samworth. And it was all put in place for it to be me and Samworth. But as soon as I got on what them two rats were doing, I pulled the plug on it. You may have remembered, it was around the time they were trying to cancel me. It was after when I was saying to everyone, I'm going to be doing this, and I'm going to be doing this ay ay ayahuasca um, documentary. It was meant to be five or six of us going to somewhere and having this ayahuasca. The long-term people that's been following me will remember this. You just won't forget it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So after that, they tried to cancel me. So when I've seen um, Samworth on there with these two rats that are trying to cancel me out, and you got to, you know, they went all out. They were paying, giving them profiles. They were giving platforms to the likes of Snitchy Bumberclart. They started giving platforms to all oh, rats that hated on me, you want it? So it is what it is. I've seen Samworth amongst them for quite a few months and thought, well, there you go. You're just one of the crowd that's been cancelling me out. And then when I seen other people participating in this group that went all out and me up, and I mean, make me, they came with the non shout they came with the grass shout they came with everything, even he's lost the plot, he's crazy. Everything. It destroyed everything for me. 
what they done to me destroyed everything. Don't forget the bike ride that I'd worked hard to achieve. I got onto that uh, Ben Kinsella Foundation years ago when I first started my message. And I went on to them, boom, 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 can we do something with you? And they got back to me and saying, not at the moment, because what we're looking at, da, 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 you're a bit, you know, what you're speaking about at the moment is not just right. Get back on us in a few years. So I worked it, got to the point where what I was giving out was more mature, more, you know, relatable. Got back on them and they agreed for me to do a bike ride. So I said I was going to do the bike ride from Glasgow to London. They were on board, appreciating it all. This, bam, 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 bam. At that time, I started, I got onto the rat. Why would I jeopardize all these boss prospects that were coming my way if I weren't concerned about something? So we exposed these rats. And what that rat does, that Glasgow from Celebrity podcaster, goes to one of his mates in the Sun newspaper from Glasgow and does a front page splash about me. How I'm threatening them, how I'm doing this and blah, 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 all about, you know what I mean? Within a day or two, I got an email off the Kinsella Foundation saying, unfortunately, Darren, we're having to pull back and not do this. So anyone that participated in that little dirty group of snakes and rats that were trying to cancel me out, because I weren't jumping on board with the narrative, basically, and I was exposing a lot of their close links when I was mentioning about CK Global and the Kinnahans and all this, they just, they couldn't sit it down. So they went all out to cancel me. Went all out to cancel me. And that's it. That's me and um, prison officer Samway. 